Bon dia, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Taihutu, and yes, in today's short TA video, exactly showing you what the charts are telling me and you. Of course, let's jump quickly into the charts. I need to make a short TA video because I have a lot of stuff to do today, as like visiting a beautiful plot of land that we might be using for Blockchain Village in Portugal, but... Um, more about that in another video later today. Now, look at these really cool charts. Five charts, you need to watch the charts. Look them till the end. Yes, I know you were laughing yesterday when I made the video that I didn't want to become bearish. And yes, I know that you now look at the charts and see, ah, shit, no, maybe we shouldn't go get bearish. Now, look at today's video again and see what I think. Bam. Is the first chart guys this is the four hour chart this is on the rx platform um, i drew this yesterday with you guys and then i told you ah this yellow line is still going up now nah, it's not going up now anymore because bam we have a lower low a lower low that is not that really um cool in a bullish period so this line over here that they that line I drew a long time ago, that is not a triangle I'm drawing. That is the line that we need to break for me to come completely bullish again. So we need to go above this 47k level or here around 42k um, to become very bullish. You can see on this chart now that indeed this line is now not an uptrend, now it's a downtrend. So what kind of pattern are we seeing here? What, what, what is what is it that we see? I think we need to break this red line, but we are going slowly downwards. Um, even here on the four hour, that was a bullish cross. Now again, a bearish cross. And again, during a bearish cross, the price is going up. We are now around 34,000. So that's beautiful bounce over there. So the, the, the question is now, what kind of pattern do we see? So let's take a look at this chart. Bam. So I drew some patterns. Uh, I will put a picture of those patterns over here in the corner while I edit the video. So now, please look. So we have this bullish expanding triangle or a bullish triple bottom or we have a bearish flag. All of these patterns look like each other and we don't know exactly which one is going to play out, but they all look a little bit like each other. I think that the bearish flag is not a bearish flag anymore because that's, these are the red lines. The bearish flag should normally go up like this. That, then it would be a real bearish flag and then we would continue the trend um, to the downside like this. That is how normally a bearish flag should look. So for example, yeah, something like this. I don't know exactly, I can't draw it exactly, but that is how normally a bearish flag looks. So for me, that bearish flag, nah, that one is probably not the one that we think that we are in now. So let's delete the bearish flag. That would, if it would be a bearish flag, we would go way below 30k by the way. So then we have two other patterns left. We have a bullish triple bottom, which is the blue line, purplish line. There's one bottom, two bottom, three bottom, maybe even four bottoms if we count it like, like two bottoms different. And then if we would have a bullish triple bottom, we would again go up to the level we came from. That would be around the 50K over there. Is also a pattern, like you can see here on the left, that is a pattern. And then you still have the bullish expanding triangle, which is not really clear because normally it should be a little bit more like this expanding. Um, but still, it could be an expanding triangle. And then as well, from an expanding triangle, I forgot to draw that line, it needs to be a green one, um, we will continue again to the upside. So for me, those two patterns are left at the moment, but that's when you deep, you know look at the charts in patterns. You know, it's not a perfect pattern, so you don't know, but we see a triple bottom, and a triple bottom should normally be the bullish pattern. Let's jump into the next chart, guys. Bam, over here. This is the Bam Bam Indicator. Yesterday, at the VIP channel, if you buy the Bam Bam Indicator, you get all these updates. I told the people, people, VIPs, if we see a long flag, 
and if we see a candle closing them off that yellow stepping line and if we see the BAM crossing that white line and if we see green appearing over there and if we see a green dot over there and if we see the green line on top and the orange in the middle and the red on the bottom that would be a long and I told the people if you take that long you can have profit till around that red line which would be a 3% profit that's the midline of that huge Bollinger Band or if you want to take profit uh, and the, if the candle is crossing that red line we could even be taking profit there at the top which would give us a total profit of 10% without leverage if we use a leverage then we use a leverage of 10 for example then would be 100% trade these kind of charts we uh, start to share every day in the VIP channels and that is how we guide the people in when to take a trade or not this morning I shared a 15 minute chart because there was a trade on that 15 minute chart this is how you make minimum 2% a day in an easy very simple way it's I can't make it different also the short before that one look at short flag close down below it Bam Bam crossing, a lot of yellow, the red line on top, orange in the middle, green on the bottom. That would have been, bam, let's see, a short till this flag over there, 7 to 8%. Triple confirmation. You have been confirmed to take that trade. That's how the Bam Bam works. Also the TikTok, you want to know more, go to ddbam.com or please go to thebitcoinfamily.com. You will find all the information on how to sign up on thebitcoinfamily.com. Let's jump in the next chart. Bam, over here. I told you guys already for weeks, Bitcoin seems to dip always around the 25th for the last 7 months. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 months. Now we can start to add, I think, here, the 8th month. Because we dip again around that 25th. It is today the 23rd. And yesterday the 22nd we had that dip. Again around that last Friday of the month. The dips are becoming lower. That is not good in my opinion. In my opinion we should go higher with the lows. But let's see. This area, those green lines, is a huge area of support. You can see over there support. You can see over there the support. Wait, I'm going to draw. We had support over there, support over there, support over there, we had support over there, support over there, support over there. So this is a huge area of support. We need to go up from here, break that beautiful red line again, and then everything is bullish again. Maybe then this red is going to be smaller again, and even going to turn into this beautiful green line again. That is what we want to see. Let's jump into the next shot. My laptop is becoming hot because of the sun. Bam! This is also a very important chart, guys. I showed you this many times. We are around this area now, in my opinion, over here. There. Is my face still on the right place? Yes, it is. In my opinion, but I'm going to put it there because now this is going to be important. Important. Yes, very important. Um, in this area, here. And we can see even, if we look very close, but then you need to look really very close, that this red candle over there, here, that one almost touched this line one two lines down below that midline that red candle over there look what we are doing today look that line almost touching this candle that line two lines down below that one so in my opinion we could be copying again like i've said many times that 2013 move so let's see then the top would be over there the more important thing on this one you see here at the bottom of the chart and that is what I want to show you because it is very clear um, uh, sorry guys I need to delete that pin okay okay this is what what I want to show you this is the RSI in the RSI every time in the past guys I'm going to sit like this because I think my laptop is overheating every time in the past when the RSI comes below that 40 line Below that 40 line, that is a perfect buying opportunity. Look, here. This is below area, below that 40 line. You see it? If you take that area over here and you pull it to the top of the chart so you can see this area, look, that was a perfect buying opportunity. 
Now let's take another look over here. This one here below 40 that per period what would it have been in in the in the in the charts let's see ah fuck it sorry guys I, I'm, I'm drawing a really really bad chart now I, I, I started to draw it on the wrong <laughs> panel but let's say over here till there that would be a perfect buying opportunity guys every time when the RSI over here comes down below that 40 just showing you very quickly what that would have mean meant for this buying opportunity every time we do this it is almost a perfect buying opportunity we are now like you can see here almost below 40 we are at the level of 40 even if we don't dip, even if we just touch it, and in my opinion, in my opinion, again, this would be a perfect buying opportunity, and that perfect buy opportunity will, in my opinion, lead to huge profits in the future, and those huge profits in the future, in my opinion, would be the top of that white line around now 160k. That is how I look at the charts. Let's jump in the last two charts that are really exciting as well. And then that was everything for today because my laptop is really burning. I can hear it blowing, blowing. Like shh, that's what I hear at the moment. Let's jump into the next two charts. Bam, this was my face again. And yeah, my face was in the chart, but again, I think you see what I mean, okay? So let's jump into the next chart. Bam, this one. I'm going to put my face over there because this one is about all the mining fraud. Yes, China is shutting down the miners. Yes, it's terrible. Yes, all that shit is happening. But let's look at the perspective. Let's zoom out. Let's zoom out what I always do. Monday, 18th of December, this line over there. At the top of the bull run in 2017, 17, the hash rate was 13.6 exa hashes <clears throat> 13.6 that was at the top of the bull run of 2017 nowadays this same hash rate guys is 104 exa hashes that is almost eight times more than at the top in 2017 so even if those miners would be shutting down those computers I don't see the fuck we reached the top in 2017 while only 13.6 exa hashes per second were there. We have 104 now. So for me, it is FUD, FUD, FUD. Not a chart, bam, this one. This is the white off pattern that everybody is talking about. I found this one somewhere on Twitter. I really like this one because this one is very close to what um, the charts are showing us. Um, we did indeed now have this spike to below 30 and that was indeed a lower low than this one and then this one and that is indeed what this pattern is asking us and then if we see that one then we should go and be up to this level around 34k which we are doing and maybe we come back again to here to the support of the test on a 32k and then again go up and these phases they will slowly crawl up again and then slowly go up again to that we get a level of 46k again or even 50k and if we would complete that pattern then it would like look like this and of course my face was again in the screen but not on the most worst place so you you understand what i'm saying you can see it clearly here these are the charts for today bam because at the moment my laptop is overheated and I need to stop the video now. But I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Please leave a comment. And also, if you like it, go to our web shop. Buy your Bitcoin Generation X, Y, Z or the Boomer t-shirt. And you can make this text mind yourself in any text that you want. Happy birthday. Uh, sunny day. Happy, happy, happy long time. Whatever you want, you can type it over there. And it will be printed on your t-shirt and delivered at your home thanks guys for watching hope you enjoy it today there will be another family video and tomorrow of course another ta video again thanks for watching see you later or tomorrow again bam